Hello everybody out there, Chris here and welcome back to another weekly comic book haul. Guys, we got a lot of books this week, well, a nice amount of books this week, but a lot of extras because we have two weeks worth of extras here. Uh, if you don't know why we didn't do a haul last week, if you missed out on any of the shows that I've done or the live show on uh, Comic Frontline, go check out one of those shows or go check out my 2,000 subscriber celebration and you'll see why we actually didn't do a haul last week, but it had a lot to do with shipping, which 90% of you probably know. So. News-wise, I think I said everything on the haul video, uh, on the celebration video um, yesterday. Uh, really quick, we shot the big two review. I'm gonna probably be editing it together now. This video will be posted after that video, so um, you'll be seeing this after the big two. Hopefully by tomorrow, Michael and I will be able to do the indie review and/or the big two review, which are all the books that we have here, and be back on track. Uh, the gaming channel, uh, I was supposed to do Dying Light last week when it came out. We had the Blizzard, and I got sick, so Dying Light's probably going to start on Monday, since it's already Saturday and I haven't really recorded much yet. Uh, trying to think if there's anything else. Comic Frontline, I'm going to read through these books, and whatever books I see nobody covered on Comic Frontline, I'll grab a few and probably do them on there. Uh, yeah. Alright, so let's get into the books this week. If you want any extra news or stuff like that, definitely go check out the um, 2,000 subscriber celebration. I will say this really quickly, and I think this show is the show where I'll announce it each week. Next Friday will be Dark Avenger Live. I don't know what ep uh, episode, I think 21 we're up to. Was it 20 we're in or 30? I it's a one, remember. I just can't remember off the top of my head for some reason. I'm At this moment I don't remember, but it'll be the next Dark Avenger Live episode. Uh, so at least you guys know in advance what we're doing. It's going to be 8.30, 9 o'clock p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. Join us for some really wacky, wild fun on Dark Avenger Live. We do anything and everything on there. So the books. I'm going to show you guys a few of the books that we um, got last week because we're sticking them in the indie review for this week, even though they came out last week because we didn't have the physical copies uh, for these books. Got Charmed, issue number four. There's a death in this book, by the way. Color Classics return with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Color Classics volume three, issue number one. Sonic the Hedgehog, issue number 268, part one of four, story the next of the next story arc, Champions. Realm War, issue number six. Hey, Mike, you're really getting a nice cover. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, well. And that's it for the books that came out on the week of the 21st. Now we're going to get into the books that came out, but these will all be on the indie review for this week. So, Mike, you hold on to those. First, we got Spider-Man and the X-Men, issue number two. Future's End, issue number 39. Justice League Dark, issue number 38. This is the Flash variant. He-Man, The Eternity War, issue number 2. Earth 2, World's End, issue number 17. And then, apparently, I guess that issue number 1 of the TMNT Color Classics was delayed, but we have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Color Classics, volume 3, issue number 2. So I guess issue number one was delayed. So you're going to get a double dose for the Cindy review. We also have Tomb Raiders, issue number, or Tomb Raider, issue number 12. I believe this is the final Gail Simone issue, and then the writer for the video game will be uh, taking over the book. So we'll see if Michael I, sticks around. I, I, I don't know. Robin Hood, issue number six. Again, a very nice cover. I'm going to say so myself. Okay, Chris, we get the point. Dark Shaman, issue number four. As Ellie continues to stare at Michael. Oh wait, it gets better because we have the Jungle Book: Fall of the Wild, issue number two. Just as a note to self, I have read these books already. <laughs> what? The final issue of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles: Ghostbusters. Spider-Man 2099, issue number eight, the final tie-in to uh, Spider-Verse. Now all that's left is Amazing Spider-Man 14. Sinestro, issue number nine. Let's see if I'm sticking with Sinestro. I was thinking about going back to Green Lantern. I'm 
I'm still debating about it. We'll see. Maybe I'll just read it digitally from now on. Nova issue number 26. Red Lanterns 38. Red Lanterns is ending anyway, so I'm just going to uh, ride it out all the way through to the end, whether the story arc is good or not. Free this week is inside the NBA Justice League. It's an NBA Justice League crossover comic book, which I found very interesting. You got Shaquille O'Neal and Superman here. Nice stuff. It's free. It's at your local comic shop. Why not? The Flash issue number 38 with one of my favorite Flash covers of the month. Well, actually the favorite because this is the last week. Uh, Deathstroke issue number 4. Batman number 38. The hefty issue. Wait a minute. The last time there was a hefty issue. <laughs> I'm just wondering. No, it's not. It's one. Uh, ever since that time, and then we finally have Batman Eternal issue 43. Maybe this is where the Batman issue that connected to Etern uh, Etern uh, Eternal uh, connected. So we'll see. We'll see in this issue. Uh, three freebies that came out last week that you guys should know about. DC uh, Entertainment Essential Graphic Novels. This basically is your guidebook. If you want to know about graphic novels from DC, Vertigo, Wildstorm... It collects them all right here in a nice little timeline, and you can get from first to last of any book you'd like. Nice little checklist in the back. It's essential if you like to buy trade paperbacks. If not, then no big deal. We have Image Comics Preview Book, 2015. So you got previews for Image Comics. And you got Ivar Time Walker, issue number one. This is the preview for it. I actually read the whole uh, issue. It was really good. It, it actually is coming uh, also, oh, they also coming in January. I thought it was something else, but looks very interesting. I believe we also got this digitally, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we did. I read it, it. I read just, just last night. It ended right here? Yeah, also in the email. Okay. It was really good. So that's all the comic books. Now, guys, I'm going to show you a bunch of extras. And remember, this is a culmination of two weeks. Two weeks. So, uh, let's go with the games first. Last week, on the week of the 20th, we got Saints Row the 4th um, re-elected along with Gat Out of Hell. This is the first edition, so it comes with the uh, pre-order DLC. Uh, put it here. And this week we got Dying Light, and for pre-ordering it we got uh, one of the Night Zombie um, the DLC. Uh, okay. Last week, I got two 12-inch uh, figures. I found them in my local Walgreens. I got Ultimate Spider-Man Miles Morales and Miguel, Spider-Man 2099. On his box, it said O'Shea, but Spider-Man 2099 is O'Hare. And I know uh, Tommy screams because Tommy loves these figures, and that's why I got them for Tommy. But I will be reviewing them at some point. Also, the following week, this week, they got two more in because I did compliment them on getting these nice figures and apparently they liked it. I got Iron Spider-Man and Flash Thompson, Agent Venom. So, altogether four. There's a couple more out there that are Spider-Man related. We'll see. Maybe Michael and me will get them online. All depends. I know a lot of you guys, ever since I said about Lady Death, Michael's getting tired of me saying it, so I won't say it again, but I, I, we heard you guys. No, leave them alone. And uh, last week, finally, you guys know how much I love Attack on Titan. I finally, thanks to Michael, got the Colossal First Edition, which is the gigantic manga of Attack on Titan with nice little colored pages every every so often that I like. I like it a lot. Yes. So You're welcome. I'm happy. I'm happy. Now I just have to catch up on the other 15 books. Ellie's getting one, and Mike's getting the other uh, mini series that are connected to it also. So. Not now, but eventually. But at least I got like five volumes to read, so it'll take some time. It was speaking, upside down, by the way, when you were showing. That oh, side. it was? I didn't show it this way? No, no, you showed it that way, but I meant the lining on the side. Oh. Yeah, like that, yeah. Yeah, well, normal books that we're used to are held this it's way. It's that way, but it's then... Longer, yeah. it's held this way. So. Uh, speaking of Attack on Titan, I made a, Michael and I made a lot of orders uh, to Japan because these things were dirt cheap. I'm talking... The most money uh, was twelve ninety nine, and that was for the box set. Got a nice Attack on Titan bracelet. I got this was I think Mike got 
three of them for six dollars. No, believe. it was two dollars. It came two dollars each. Two right. Oh, six. Sorry, for six dollars. Yes, three. two dollars each. Got a pin for a dollar, and I Cindy actually got this necklace. I believe it was Cindy or myself got this necklace for it was I believe two dollars also. Stainless steel. I think steel. I got it. Yeah. Also, we got this. This was the most expensive thing. It's in a collector's box. It's a keychain or necklace set. It has, does, can they see it all? Yeah. Okay. It has the four crests, the uh, sword, which this sword is gigantic and heavy, so I, I couldn't imagine this being a uh, necklace. It's a bit heavy. Uh, two of the keys, like I said, the strap, bless you, for the you. key, the big or the small, and then the keychain, I guess, for the four crests. This was awesome. This was a really, and the display box that they're in is really nice also. My only complaint is they should have made the the foam that you put the keys and stuff in uh, a little bit thinner because it's too thick and they get lost if they go too deep. Also, the final thing for Attack on Titan, and we got this for Epic Story more than anything else, is we got we found a place that actually makes replica swords, and we got ourselves here's the handle. We got ourselves a replica of the um, Attack on Titan sword. It's completely blunted, not sharp at all. I'm not used to swords like that though, I'm used to getting swords that are sharpened, but this is completely blunted, flat. So, no hurting, it comes nice, it even has a little wire that connects to the gear cell. Really nice, Michael got it for his character on Epic Story, so when you see Epic Story, whenever we get up to it, you can look forward to Mike having this sword as uh, his character. And finally, and I pre-ordered this last year with, with one of the gift cards I got for Christmas, I'm only showing the figure. There were a bunch of extras that came with him. I got my figure arts Luigi. Down lower. So I'm very happy. Mike got Mario during New York Comic Con Special Edition, which they have announced, by the way, dates. Uh, so I pre ordered Luigi uh, figure arts for myself. So we now officially have both the Mario Brothers. Now we'll see if they'll make anybody else. Uh, I'll be doing a a uh, toy chest review of Luigi. And he came with a block, he came with a red shell. He came with a display base with a, um, oh, Ellie, what do you call those things where you can have that look like they're jumping with the stand? What, the stand? It's like a stand, it's called, it's with a jump this. stand, basically. So, very happy about that. With that, that's all the extras. Uh, hopefully, as time goes on, there'll be more extras. I'm looking into a couple of other video games right now, uh, as well as, like I mentioned before, Lady Death and Attack on Titan. So we'll see, and you never know if 12 inch, uh, some more 12 inch Spider-Man figures will show up at my local store, so I might grab those also. But, as always, there's always fan mail also. I know a few people offered to send me a few things at some point, point. I said maybe, we'll see. Uh, but anyway, that's it for this haul video. Hope you guys enjoyed everything you saw here. Don't forget to check out all the places that I work on. Comic Related, Comic Frontline, Zone 4 Podcast, and Frontline Gaming Zone. We are all your number one source for comic related news, reviews, and as you see in this haul video, a whole bunch more. And until the review, which hopefully will be tomorrow night, fingers crossed, please, um, I'll see you guys really soon. Keep reading, keep collecting, and I will see you guys tomorrow, I pray.